And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. I'm your host, Mega Shadow Fist. The second video comes to the second commentary. When we last left off, we already started another cross examination with Mr. Grandpappy, Sir Victor Kudo. And now we're going to continue where we last left off. So we pretty much start from the very beginning, because that's where we last saved and everything. Anyway, <clears throat> he, was he was another of those pesky young types wearing a broken pair of spectacles. Spectacles? Dark glasses to you! One of the lenses was gray, but the other was broken! Let's check the court record. Let's look at his profile. I only... I only see one. But I guess he, ju he just doesn't know that it's supposed to be like this. I see. One of the lenses was gray, but the other was broken! No fangled rubbish! That's what I remember him... That's why I remember him so well! He did have some kind of lens over his left eye. But I wouldn't have called it a pair of glasses. Hmm, he seems to have been wearing some rather modern looking shades. Perhaps I should take the wear I should take to wearing some and rival Mr. Godot's sharp appearance. Ah, I we better come up with something sharp and quick. Guess I'll wait and see if I should challenge him about the spectacles. He had a newspaper in his right hand and the noisy brat kept rustling his pages. The newspaper was a sports paper, was it? The young hooligan I nearly asked him, can't you even read without fidgeting? Hmm? And I was, he was, how was I supposed to be able to read the back page with all that rustling going on? I had to find out if Gustav Brown retained his championship title! It was his, it was his paper, not yours. If you wanted to know so bad, why didn't you buy one of your own? What are you looking at me like that for, hmm? How dare you judge me? Ow, ow! Gustav Brown got beaten yesterday, by the way. Anyway... Young man was listening to the wireless! I remember that well! The wireless? The, 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 the decadent young rascal! In my day, it was one or the other! Read the paper or listen to the wireless! Oh boy. And using an earpiece! It's selfish! That's what it is! I was I was straining my ears, but I couldn't catch any of it! Was he that desperate to listen to the radio? What are you looking at me like that for, hmm? How dare you feel sorry for me? Ow! Ow! They had that servant girl the question brought over the Java Chino! You mean the waitress, who you only saw from behind, right? You're one of those! Uh, you're one of those, are you? You never let anything go, isn't that right? Maybe. What does it matter if I saw her from the front or from behind? My eyes don't lie! Ow! Ow! I better not push her until I've got some hard evidence. The little figure picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip! His free hand? Yes! Which hand was that? Weren't you listening before, cloth ears? I said he was rustling the newspaper with his right hand, didn't I? If his free hand wasn't his right hand, then which hand was it from you? Ow! Ow! Ha! Or whether that's good at Ha! Huh. Perhaps the great Mr. Trite was, has three hands. Yeesh, I was only asking. No need to gang up on me and treat me like a freak. The whole point of this cross-examination is to establish just one thing. That this old guy's memory has more holes than a slice of Swiss. I guess we just need to find a contradiction in his testimony somewhere, huh? Anything will do, even the smallest detail. We just need one mistake and he's ours. Okay, so he was another one of those perky young types wearing a broken pair of spectacles. He had a newspaper in his right hand and the noisy brat kept wrestling its pages. Okay. The young man was listening to the wireless, I remember that well. Then the servant girl in question brought over the Javachino. The little fidget picked up the cup from with his free hand and took a sip. With his free hand, hold on, hold on. Okay, so let's go back to the young man who's listening to the wireless, I remember that well. Okay. The wireless? Young rascal! In my day, it was one or the other! Read the newspaper or listen to the wireless! Oh boy. And using an earpiece, it's selfish! What's that's what it is! I was straining my ears, but I couldn't catch any of it! Was he that desperate to listen to the radio? Okay, so this is nothing new. Alrighty then. Then the serving girl in question brought over the Java Chino. Okay, so I was like, maybe he was holding the radio in one hand and the other so he wouldn't have a free hand. I somehow- I think I somehow have to prove that he doesn't have a free hand. 
He was another one of those pesky antis wearing a broken pair of spectacles. He had a newspaper in his right hand, and the noisy brat kept rustling its pages. The young man was listening to the wireless, I remember that. Then the servant girl in question brought over the Javachino. The little fidget picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. Okay, something about that is off to me, I'm not quite sure. Let's look at the magazine... the sports paper. Doodle is the... the vi left by the victim, Doodle is the victim's handwriting. Now, he was writing on this, right? So... Perhaps he didn't have a free hand? Objection. Nope, okay, they're not gonna... This evidence clearly reveals a contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are the evidence in the statement just now related? They aren't, are they? Not at all! Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. The little fidget picked up the cough, the cup, no, that, no, I was not out of sync, I've just seen that, I've just read that line so many times I practically memorized it. The little fidget picked up the cup, a copy with his free hand and took a sip. I was like, well, you see, he, 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 he was drawing, right? So, like, he didn't have a free hand. Okay, I feel like I have to prove that he didn't have a free hand. What about the victim's prescription bag the victim got from the doctor? The bag is empty. Uh, would that work, though? Okay, coffee cup. The coffee contained the passing cover of the victim with Maggie's fingerprints. Hmm. He definitely. Okay. If he had the, if he ordered the lunch special, which he didn't, he definitely wouldn't have. John's. Okay. So let's look at the facts here. The only things that would actually make sense are the sports paper, which was not right. Autopsy report would not make sense. Crime photo. Let's look at the photo. Okay. He's dead. Is it? His right hand is ex I can't- I, I wish I could zoom in a bit, I'm not quite sure... Like, okay, so... Hmm... Alright, well we have- there are only two other things that make sense, right? So... The prescription bag, but... I don't know... If he had the bag with him, then... This- I don't think this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Nope, that was wrong. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are the evidence in the statement just now related? They aren't, are they? Not at all! Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Okay, okay. A couple of copies of this freehand. I feel like it has to be this. Like, okay, so... Then... This... Hold on, crime photo. Like, hold on. Let's look. Let's look at this. Let's check. Uh, I don't think this is going to work either. No, that was completely wrong. Okay, let's get past this. We don't need to hear this again. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know what to do then. You don't sound very sure, Mr. Wright. Objection overruled. Alrighty then, I don't think that one hit me any points with the judge. We're gonna get our we're gonna get our guilty verdict again, as per usual. He with his free hand and took a sip. Or maybe I feel like it has something to do with the hands. Like the young man was listening to the wireless, I remember that well. He had a newspaper in his right hand and the noisy brat kept rustling its pages. It has to be one or the other. It has something to do with his hands, I have to imagine. Then the serving girl in question brought over the Javachino, the little brat picked fight. Fidget picked up the coffee with his free hand and took a sip. We presented everything that would make sense, and everything that wouldn't make sense. Well, we didn't present everything that wouldn't make sense, but... Let's check the profile. Glen Elg. His left eardrum was broken the day before the incident. His left eardrum... That scouter thing is over his left ear. Hmm. Okay, so, then the servant girl in question brought over the Javachino. The young man was listening to the wireless, I remember that well. Did we- we've pressed this a second time, I don't think it has anything useful. Okay, so wireless, the second name was one or the other, and using- He was using the earpiece, huh? You say he was using the earpiece? But, 
that wouldn't make sense. That, that, that earpiece wouldn't... The servant girl in question brought over the Javachino. The young man was listening to the wireless, I remember that well. You mean this? Would this work? I don't think so. Nope, it was wrong. Because, like... The witness statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Okay, we're gonna get her to go to there. Because that was like, it's over. He got his left eardrum busted, and it's over his left ear. So, hmm. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. We're gonna get her guilty verdict. As per usual. The case is extremely clear. The court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird, guilty. Hmm. Oh, at first I was thinking it was the hands, but maybe not. To be held pending trial in a higher court with a month from today's date, that is all the court is adjourned. Okay, so... Hmm. Continue. From save point. Okay, so... This is another one of those pesky young types wearing a broken pair of spectacles. He had a newspaper... I don't think that we're supposed to question this. He just, that's, it's right, but no. He had a newspaper in his right hand and the noisy rat kept rustling its pages. The young man was listening to the wireless, I remember that. Well, hmm. I don't know what to do here. Let's check the crime photo again. His face is downward, so we can't really check to see, no. They can't make it easy for us, can they, ladies and gentlemen? We're almost at the 10 minute mark. Once I get to the 10 minute mark, I'm gonna have to look this up, unfortunately. Because, you know, that's just how it's gonna have to be. Listen to the wireless, I remember that. Well, then the serving girl in question brought over the Javachino. The little brat, the little fidget picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. So it'd have to be his left hand. Can we press this again? Oh, I actually come to think of it, his free hand. Yeah, since th this is this most recent say was just before. Once you're listening before cloth ears, I said he was rustling the newspaper with his right hand, didn't I? If his free hand wasn't his right, then which hand was it, you moron? Ow, 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 ow! Ha, ha, ha! Perhaps the great Mister Tried his three hands. Yeah, ha, go dot. Yeesh! I was only asking. No need to gang up on me and treat me like a freak. The whole point of this cross-examination is to establish this one thing. Now, this old guy's memory has more holes than a slice of Swiss. So we just need to find a contradiction in his statement somewhere, huh? Anything will do, even the smallest detail. We just need one mistake and he's ours. Okay, let's go back to the very end again and press it again. Let's see if it's one of those cases where we need to press something twice. Where's the record wrestling? The young man was listening to the wireless, I remember that well. Then the serving girl in question brought over the Javachino. A little fidget picked up the coffee with his free hand took a sip. Maybe we did press this a second time. Aren't you listening, cloth ears? Okay, ow, ow. Huh, perhaps the great Mr. Dread has three hands. Okay. Well, it's been ten minutes, so I think I'm gonna have to look this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go to the very last one, the serving girl in question brought over the Javachino. The little fidget picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. And was supposed to present the coffee cup. Let's see. Contained potassium cyanide and covered in the victim's and Maggie's fingerprints. Now, I'm not quite sure if they specified which hand he had, but this is what we're supposed to present, apparently. <clears throat> Mr. Kudo, do you remember what you were told at the start of the testimony? That this was a way of testing the credibility of your memory. I know, I know, there's nothing wrong with my memory, I tell you nothing! If I got anything wrong, I'll eat these seeds and sing the pigeon song! Care to tell us where tell care to tell us where this go there blah, 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 blah. care to tell us where this is going, Shrite. According to Mr. Kudo, the victim was holding the paper in his right hand. While drinking coffee with his free hand, which would make it that his left. Ka! What is this? Kindergarten? But I would like the court to please take a look at this. That's the cup the victim used, correct? Yes, and on the rim, you'll notice a mark left by the victim's cup. By the victim's lips. Yes, there is a stain left by the coffee. If you consider where that stain is, you'll clearly see that the victim was holding the cup with his right hand. But how? Well, Mr. Kudo, the court is waiting for your epic performance. You said you'd eat those seeds and sing the pigeon song. Mr. Kudo, 
I'm afraid this is simply not acceptable. I think the witness had better go back to the park where he came from- WAIT! If you think I'm gonna stand here and listen to you, tell- Listen to you, tell me I'm mad, you're wrong! I don't care about that dirty coffee cup, I know what I saw! You still insist on your testimony. That young brat was holding the cup in his left hand! Oh yes, no question, I'm a good law-abiding citizen, I am! If that's dead, young cock you, you you spiky-haired yahoo are a thought! Who, me? Thank you, old man. We've heard quite enough from you already. Don't call me old man, old man! Been around for 68 years, I have! You can't ignore me! Listen to what I've gotta say! I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, but... Sh sure, why not hear a little more? Mis Mr. Godot! But this is my 16th cup of coffee, so this is your final stand. Thank you, Captain! You can rely on Victor! Left hand or right hand? The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his specs. He kept fiddling with it all the time. He was fiddling with it just before he picked up the coffee, too. And then he used the same hand to, to pick up the coffee with his left hand. <laughs> I really can't read today. We know that the victim was wearing an unusual monocle over his left eye. It wasn't a monocle, Your Honor. It was a small computer monitor often used by programmers. A monitor? You mean like a television screen? The inside of the lens is a screen that displays the computer data. It's called the H it's called an HMD. It's a common tool in the victim's line of work. HTTV, DVD, CD, all these new fake letters drive me mad, but they don't matter. I know what I saw, I'm telling the truth. It's true, he doesn't seem to be lying. And those are the facts in good old black and white! Alrighty then, cross-examination, if you please. Okay, so I don't remember them mentioning... I guess the, the whole coffee cup, that was that was pretty interesting. I didn't really think of it that way, though. Because I, I, I figured there was something wrong with his hand, but... I was like, maybe... Maybe... Uh, uh, I don't know. From safe. I was like, maybe... Okay, so he's holding it with his right hand, and then like he was like... Drawing, or... I don't know. Anyway, I could pass you guys in the next episode.